Hey everybody, another day, another video. If you like what you see in here, consider liking, subbing, and ringing that bell, and comment. We like comments. Hey, 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 everybody, good morning to you, good morning to you, and uh, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. I was a big fan of Fleetwood Mac. I discovered them with the album Bear Trees. I had no idea that there was a, a Fleetwood Mac prior to that with Peter Green and that, and that whole thing. I didn't have a clue. Bear Trees was my original introduction to uh, Fleetwood Mac. So I started poking around and uh, looking at uh, the older stuff, Bear Trees, uh, mystery to me, uh, and I, I like that stuff way better than uh, later on Fleetwood Mac. Everybody talks about rumors and how great that is and all, and I guess it's an okay album, but I uh, give me the original kind of, I like this mid Fleetwood Mac stuff. When Danny Kerwin was still in the band, uh, Bob Welsh had joined the band, all of that. That Christy McVie was in the band, but uh, Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham weren't yet. They were doing a solo album of their own, which is a great album. So Buckingham Nicks, if you have never heard Buckingham Nicks, get that album. Very good. Uh, so I decided I would do some Fleetwood Mac today. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do two songs from uh, Mystery to Me with the, with the weird cover and Bear Trees two separate videos but uh i'm telling you that all right now <laughs> so uh th this is uh from mystery to me and we're going to do the uh, song the city and then somebody so uh let's get on with it yeah like this time fleetwood mac days Got your Bob Welch song here. Wow, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. That, that right there. That kind of a thing. That's almost as good as a cowbell. You know? I, I would rate those as one of those things that people will put in a song somewhere along the line and it just adds a little little something something a little something something to the song so there you have it the city a uh, bob Wells song very cool we like that so uh somebody 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 now let me see who wrote this song i was just reading a whole lot of stuff about both of these albums uh, the bear trees and this album on uh, wikipedia and all that stuff so as I read, you know, I go, oh, uh, this person, that person. But of course, I don't remember everything. Who wrote what? You can kind of tell who wrote what. Usually they sing their own tunes, you know, kind of like the Beatles did. You know, if John wrote it, he sang it. Paul wrote it, he sang it, etc., etc. So now we're going to do somebody. I think this is another Bob Welch song, I think. But I'm not sure. probably play this for someone and why would they know I mean I'm not criticizing but who's very into Fleetwood Mac but they all I pretty much know is rumors and you know the Stevie Nicks kind of stuff but I looked into your eyes. you could play this for them and they wouldn't they would have no idea who it is is this Led Zeppelin <laughs> I forget one of those answers you know, and I, that you I would think that's this world. probably Not Pink Floyd. But it's one of my eyes, one of yours. You will never get no love at all. I, I like this, th these kind of vocals. Now he's almost, he's almost just talking. Not, not quite, kind of a singing, talking vocal style. Sit there. You know what I mean? Still won't move. <laughs> I think you do. My 
thing i don't know who was playing what guitar like I, I i suppose i'm just guessing here that danny Kerwin and uh, bob welsh were kind of sharing guitar work there one was doing <laughs> well we weren't expecting that uh one was doing the lead one was doing the rhythm and i, I don't really know who was who i don't know the i kind of know bob welch his sound of guitar and I was, in articles I was reading, they said Danny Curran was very particular about everything. You know, every note had to be perfectly placed and, you know, no wasted fiddling around. You know, he was a real nut for, for that. You know, and the other people were, yeah, you know, they were a little bit, eh, we'll, we'll kind of fool around here and bend a bunch of notes. And, you know, so they had, they were button heads there at one point. And so Danny Curran did eventually leave the band and... I don't know if the, um, on this album the uh, I'll have to check again. I'm not even sure he's even in the band in, in this on this album. Danny Kerwin, that is. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, great albums. I, I both of these albums were, you know, that that's where I like Fleetwood Mac. Put me in this group of stuff. Now I just discovered. Now you you would assume that Danny Kerwin when he left the band he went out and did some things himself uh, and he did and there's a few albums out there I need to investigate and find out what those sound like and maybe we'll do some of those on here when I if I can track them down I imagine I can alrighty folks that's gonna be it for today the city and somebody 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 Alright folks, thanks for dropping by and uh, come back and see us again sometime and go check these albums out. If you don't know these albums very well, or this one, I haven't done the Bear Trees out, uh, video yet, but when I do, maybe it'll perk your interest and you'll run right out and get the album. <laughs>